What's the word everybody? It's your boy J Sites and I'm back today to bring out yet another tutorial. I'm gonna be showing y'all how to track your text to your subjects, but in 3D. So let's just jump straight into this. So what you wanna do on your timeline, you have your song, you have your footage. Let's find a place in our song where we wanna place this text and we're gonna make two markers there along with dropping the text boxes there. In my case, we're using in advance, so I'm gonna just make a marker right here just to set off my end point and and you know just right before he says advance, I'm gonna drop I'm gonna drop yet another one, another. One. Feel me? So now that I got my markers, I'm gonna drop my first letter and I'm gonna drop my next set of words over here as well. Boom. So now that we got that situated, we're gonna cut off these two layers. Just so we can still see our footage or whatever come down to the footage and we're gonna apply mocha All right, once you have your footage tracked, it's time to start adding in solids. I have a little trick. So instead of adding both solids, I'm gonna start off with one. And I'm gonna take all of the information from that first solid and I'm gonna copy and paste it into the next solid when I'm done with my first animation. Then your first solid, you're gonna drop Element 3D. Element 3D is a third party paid plugin that I cannot show you guys how to get, but there are tons of ways on YouTube on how to get this plugin. Once you drag element onto your clip, you wanna change your path layer one to N and your custom texture maps to your footage so you can get a reflection out of your text. This stuff, like render settings, is completely optional. You could come here and hit ambient occlusion, turn it on, hit ray trace. It may be bump the intensity down to 0.6. Do the same for shadows and change it to ray trace as well as the lighting for the scene. We're gonna change that to cinema. So now that you have that set up, we're gonna come into scene setup. And we're gonna extrude the text that we just, wow, I have two eyes, so I have to fix that. For the tutorial, to be honest, bro, I'm gonna keep it just like this so I don't confuse any of y'all. Just know that this end is supposed to have one eye. You, should, you can stylize your text any way you want to, but for tutorial purposes, I'm just gonna go with the simple white. Pick on this little bad boy right here, and we just gonna hit okay. So now that we have our text in 3D, you feel me? We gotta use the track information from our clip and put it onto our 3D solid. So you do that by coming here, hitting create, create track data, hitting okay, dropping corner pin to transform, and then layer export to change that to your solid instead of your text and then you hit apply export and now you have the text stuck to the artist's face so how you move this you can either use your anchor points but for safety reasons we're gonna stay within the three the element 3d layer so we're gonna come to group one go to particle replicator and just move the x and y position maybe off to the side or wherever you feel is comfortable so now here's a little bit of animation that we're gonna do with this. You can come down to particle look, multi-object, enable the multi-object, and then what we're gonna focus mainly on is the size, the random rotation, and the displace. Make a keyframe at the beginning of your clip at the size, at the rotation, and maybe let's say, uh, the X display. Nah, I would say Y. I believe Y is a pro. So you're gonna change the size to zero. Change the rotation to a negative number. And make the displace maybe like six or seven. We could go up about 10 frames. And then with us being up 10 frames, we can just reset everything. So if you press U on your keyboard, you have space to animate how your text is coming in. And to give your text a little more life, 
Maybe you can add some motion blur to your 3D layer. You see, the end is coming in a little bit too slow. That's why I said you guys can just easily press U and just move your keyframes back. So how we're gonna animate this out is simple as this. You can change how you wanna animate it, but for tutorial purposes, I'm gonna use the same keyframes that I used before. So I just make three new keyframes. And then I animate out by just changing the side back to zero, rotating one in the positive direction instead of the negative direction. And then you can change the shattering, I'm sorry, the displacement size, I'm sorry. And now you have a little in and out animation with your 3D text. So now when it comes to your second layer, this is where it gets a little fun and it, and it gets a tad bit easier. And I feel like this is why you should always make your text before you just throw your solid in there, you know, because it gives you a little more direction. So now that you have your second piece of text here and it's not showing, you could just easily make a new solid. And you can take your same information from element that you had in here. You can copy it and you can paste it into a new layer. You come down to custom text and maps. And all you do is change your um, your path layer one to the word advance or to your other set of words. You come down to your footage and you change from the third solid to your newest solid. Whatever your old one is, all of the information is going to stay there. As you see in position, scale, and rotation. So change it to this layer. Hit apply. And now you see you got both texts next to you. Looking nice. Nice and 3D. You feel me? So now you place your text where you feel most comfortable. And then it's time for you to kind of just animate to the word. So... And all it is is moving your keyframes back and making sure everything pops up when the artist speaks. You see? And what we're gonna do is we can just make the second word leave out just a little bit later, a tad bit later. But we got the animation part done here. If you want to stylize this, you can do things like adding lights. Adding lights is key when you're using 3D layers in After Effects. So how you add a light is you press Control, Alt, Shift, and L. That's the shortcut. Or you can easily come up here, be like layer, new, and a light. Now, the thing is with using 3D layers with a 2D X and Y position, sometimes the lights, they aren't as accurate as they're supposed to be. So I usually come to maybe four views and I look for my wording. My wording is like right here. And I just, I move my little spotlight over and maybe move it up just a tad bit. We have, you know, a little more light going on in our text. And you can also do this with another type of light. Maybe if you grab a point light and you change the color to maybe like red or something and you lower the intensity, you could drag that light. Let me press OK. You can drag that light maybe backwards and move it over to the right just a tad bit. And then now you see you're getting a little bit of life with some reddish whitish text going on there but it all depends on how you feel and in, in the vibe of the song i'm just trying to show you guys how to get the 3d down with this you know everything else after that is kind of on you like you know <laughs> stylize it how you want but now you got the words tracked to your subject you know what i'm saying in 3d and this is also you could also do this with moving cars um on buildings and stuff like that mocha is one of the best plugins for tracking and after effects in my personal opinion like i like to use 3d camera tracker but in most cases in my cases where i'm shaking the camera a lot i don't have enough space to just track a wall you know 
and there are plenty of tutorials out there to teach you guys how to do that but uh, i just wanted to show y'all the basics on how to get this animation and you know do this in and out have it go in and out and that from what you do from there is on you but also now that you have track now that you have tracking data on another layer you'll be able to do things like even add an object onto another solid if you really want to get um mixy with this you know what i'm saying so yeah like i hope y'all enjoyed this um i'm gonna just cut this right here i feel like i gave y'all all the information that i could everything else is kind of self-explanatory and also you know you stylize it to your, you know you stylize it to your own liking and yeah man that's how you do that to be honest that's all i really got to share with y'all for today man i'll be back with some more heat feel what i'm saying just drop a like drop a comment and definitely drop a subscribe for more i got some more heat coming for y'all later on this week and yeah bro enjoy y'all night day whatever time of day it is man i'm out